here. Did I just hear one person? What? One person? What? The, the weird thing is, it was... Did you hear that? One I person who clapped once. Over there. I mean, that's not even helping. It's just weird. People who just think something's gone wrong with a television. Whereas when they see you and me, you know, realise that things are normal. Yeah. It, it anyway, how are you doing? All right? I'm doing great. And yourself? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, good. Yeah, you look great. Right. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm just talking right now, right? Yeah. Uh, just, I'll get to you. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, this is uh, this is Bradley who works on the show, and I work on the show too. And a lot of people think that. Uh, you know, this is what happens when you go to sleep in the... We come alive. <laughs> and that's true, isn't it, mate? It is. It, yeah. yeah. We're alive. And the thing is, when you're awake, we are also alive. <laughs> which means we are <laughs> exhausted. That's right. Do you know, I have to tell you, your hat looks a bit penis-y. <laughs> I've been told that. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Does it take long to get that stuff off? I'm not hitting on you. I'm just interested. It takes, you know, it takes as long as it takes. Well, haven't we got ourselves a silver philosopher? <laughs> it takes as long as it takes. Did you make that up yourself, or did you read it on a <laughs> bumper sticker? I read it on a bumper sticker. All right. Anyway, this is Bradley. I'm Sid, and uh, we'd like to announce our new sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. We are replacing Two and a Half Men <laughs> with um, a robot and a rabbit. It's called A Robot and a Rabbit. <laughs> and it's about me and, uh, you know, and Bradley, uh, we share an apartment. And I'm neat, and he's, you know, he's a, he's a bit of a slob, and we drive each other crazy. <laughs> you know, well, well, my picture, that, well, what's, I think it'd be, well, do you think you should be the neat one, and I should be, well, hang on, let me, yeah, that's well, you know, <laughs> what? as long as the paychecks are the same. <laughs> Star roll, well, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna change it Drinking to a friends. rabbit and a drunk robot with a penis out. <laughs> Join us later when things will get weird. <laughs> I know you're tired after that completely genuine outpouring of emotion. <laughs> you must be exhausted to be so thrilled at some douche in a suit. <laughs> Man, you must go into a bank and just lose your mind.
It's a great day for America, everybody. Isn't it? It is. Although, not such, a, not such a great day for one of the more powerful Americans, Oprah Winfrey. I call her Oprah Winfrey, yes. I, originally, I'm from Europe, you know. <laughs> Now, Oprah Winfrey, because uh, uh, Michael Vick was supposed to be her first guest and then he cancelled, which is bad news for Oprah, but good news for her second guest, the winner of the Westminster Dog Show. That's a relief! By the way, the second year in a row, uh, the Westminster Dog Show was won by a Scottish dog. Take that, bitches. <laughs> It's a sad day for humans, though. Last night uh, on uh, the Jeopardy show, uh, you know, Jeopardy. It's not the Jeopardy show, it's Jeopardy. <laughs> anyway, a computer defeated two of their biggest champions. It was, you know, man versus machine, and the machine won. And experts say they haven't seen two humans beat this badly since yesterday's Jerry Springer. This is a big deal. <laughs> It's a big deal. Never before has man been defeated by technology on a game show, except one time backstage at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when Regis got his hand stuck in the soda machine. But apart from that, I was it. <laughs> Give me my fresh, goddammit! <laughs> but you really, you have to be smart to win Jeopardy. It's not like Wheel of Fortune. Their contestants could be beaten by an electric razor, but Jeopardy, you have to be smart. An A, you'd like to buy an A. <laughs> I don't think it's fair putting computers or robots on a game show. Can we see a picture of the robot from last night's Jeopardy? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ooed me on a Trebek robot joke? Don't ooo me on that, it gets much worse than this. That's not... <laughs> Anyway, uh, they gave the computer a million bucks for winning Jeopardy last night, and the computer spent the money the only way it knows how, hookers blowing motor oil. <laughs> Soon it'll be on two and a half men. Uh, they, uh, uh, oh, yeah, hey, that's right, ooh, me, I'm the crackhead. <laughs> anyway, IBM gave the money to charity, but I... I find this computer fascinating because apparently it was programmed with millions of pages of information, including uh, dictionaries, encyclopedias, Bibles, novels, and plays. And, and I'm thinking it's just a matter of time before the computer gets hungry for some crap. <laughs> I'm sick of Shakespeare. <laughs> Get me that book by Snooky. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm kidding. She didn't really write it. <laughs> anyway, the. <laughs> The computer was specifically programmed to win Jeopardy. It can't do anything else. If you put it on this show, it'd probably just stand around like some other dumbass I could mention. Bulls. Would you like your million dollars now? <laughs> You're a disgrace to your kind. Bulls. So, not this machine, but some machines might be really smart. But will a machine ever be able to smell a flower or experience joy? And when I say experience joy, I'm referring to Joy Behar. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I like Joy Behar. That was like a drive-by nice thing. I just said her name. Hi, Joy. <laughs> saying is it's scary how advanced computers are getting. There's a new Time magazine, right? And it talks about something called the singularity. Now, this is a day when man and machine will actually merge. I guess they don't count the time with me and the Dyson vacuum cleaner, but according to the... <laughs> magazine, computers uh, are about 15 years away from being as intelligent as any human, right? And about, by the year 2045, the computers will be intelligent as all humans combined. That's called the singularity. That's when we could conceivably transfer our brains into computers and live forever as machine people. You are welcome, stoners. <laughs> You're welcome, stoners, and people attending the Doctor Who convention, Gallifrey One, uh, Mario Airport. Oh, 
Oh, good. We've got crossovers. <laughs> nice to know my audience is sophisticated right there. No way, I'm going to that Doctor Who convention this weekend at the Marriott near the airport. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know what the Doctor Who convention is... <laughs> so long, everybody! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, you don't have to know. Anyway, look, I'm talking about the singularity. It's important. We're already creeping towards it. Lots of people have uh, plastic and metal parts. They get pacemakers and batteries and little machines that help you get through the day. <laughs> I've got a little machine that helps me get through the day. He's over there. Say hello, Tweaky. Beady, beady, beady. Buck Rogers. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> Don't do it! And if, all I'm saying is... <laughs> all I'm saying is people are dependent on the little electronic doodads now. <laughs> well, let's think of this. What if all the information in your iPhone could be just implanted into your brain? So when you think about it, all you need is your brain. You don't need our bodies. They're just shells. They're just an... My body is. It's just an empty, flabby shell. <laughs> and, it, and if you hold it to your ear, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> Commercial break time, Jeff. Hold me. <laughs> Why, are you scared? Love me. Why, are you scared? Six robot. Oh. Yeah. I think I've just said that's about 20 years away, the sex robot. Or maybe... What is? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's 20 years away, or maybe it's about six feet away. Oops, I just piddled. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back with more. beautiful actress. She's on the show uh, Mad Love, which is Mondays at 8.30 on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Hey, there he is. Yeah, I, uh, I took a cab. I don't know why I told you that. <laughs> I don't know why I said there he is, because you know where you are. <laughs> you guys should have a talk show. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Sarah Chalk, everybody. Sarah Chalk. Great. No, 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 Blue no. Ties you, or no, color. no, you're just saying that because I am on a talk show and you're a woman, but you look great. <laughs> I'm blushing because I just pet Secretariat backstage. Did you really? Yeah. Secretariat didn't know he was here. Oh, yeah, that's him in the door. I'm not that good a dancer. It's just the secretariat brings it out. I, mean, I actually, I used to dance when I was younger. You I did not. I did. I was in for, when I first came to America, I was 21, I was in the American Modern Dance Theater. <laughs> and we did modern dance. People played bongos and I went. <laughs> Your American dance troupe had bongos too? Yeah. Were you in a dance troupe? I, it was a, we call it contemporary dance class uh -oh. in Canada. Yes. Um, Are you Canadian? Yes. <laughs> um, I thought... <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Someone... Someone...
going after my own heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have these in like a holster. Like I can reach, I glove compartment ever. I actually went I two years. I was just years. joking about that. It was just a stupid joke about being Canadian. I don't really mean it. Do you use this a lot? I actually just went cold turkey two years clean and then one pump so and I was back in. You get some in your oh, leg. Oh God, up. thanks for embarrassing. No, no. Um, no, it looks so, pretty good. So yeah. I actually <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so, so I was in a contemporary dance troupe in Canada for 11 years with my sister, and Neil would play the bongo drums, and Anna would yell out colors, and then you would do whatever that color made you feel. So she'd be like... Could we do it now? Yes, please. All right, Let's so I, I, I like that. <laughs> Cerise. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. That's just yeah. like Cerise. Right? Yeah. Your turn. Oh, all right. I got to do it too. All right. Okay. Puce. Puce? Puce. It's like a puce. It sounds like puke. <laughs> Dance, toots. <laughs> when you came to the United States that you knew how to dance <laughs> colors? Uh, the number of times that has gotten me a job, I cannot even tell well, you. I don't know. It's a kind of fascinating thing, though. It's, a, it's an interest. It shows you know how to use your body and interpret, you know, colors. Pardon? Yeah. Um, you can do that thing with your eye. That My wife can do that. Like, you can close one eye and it's kind of weird looking. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. can you see that? Look. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of, I worry about you when you do that. Do that well, again. I don't know why, I shouldn't tell you this, I don't tell them many people this, but I have a character um, whose name is Wuch, and he has a fluttering, upper, um, a fluttering eye and no upper lip. <laughs> like that. You, you have a, a, a character that what you do in your dance trip, or you... No, it's amazing the number of weird things I did during my upbringing. The dance troupe was completely separate. The dance troupe was just... 13 girls running around in full piece spandex onesies oh, of different yeah. colors. Um, Sweet. There was no fluttering upper yeah. lip and eye. Yeah, no, no the, my, <laughs> yeah, I bet there was some eye and fluttering going on. <laughs> the guys in the audience. <laughs> What did you guys wear? Did you have a similar wardrobe? I actually used to wear, yeah, dancers? blue spandex <laughs> unitard. Yeah. Yeah. So and I think there are photographs of it somewhere. Your move, internet. Bye. <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah, I danced you around. And, oh and the place God. that I danced actually became, it, it used to be a, a, a theater, and it was a gay bar during the week. Right. And... <laughs> And a theater at the weekend or the other way around. I can't Sounds remember. Sounds like my favorite place ever. Anyways, yeah, keep going. And the and then it became Coyote Ugly, where that the the girls does. That's the same place. It used to be called the Last Resort, and it kind of was. <laughs> and you would get up and dance on those same tables. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a little bit. Yeah, I did a little bit of that. I kind of miss those days. Oh, yeah. so why don't I don't think there's anything wrong. Do with you ever dance bringing now? that back? Do you ever do you ever go dancing now with your husband? Do you go uh, dancing? I just did with Secretariat. Yeah, yeah. Um, with I mean, my husband, yeah. I made my fiance take a salsa dance class with me actually which is I've fun. done that too <laughs> yeah salsa dancing yeah yeah I like I think that it's so much fun yeah it's good it's very sexy the it's, salsa it's dancing it's very sexy Do your fiance not your husband oh my fiance oh right yes. your, your, congratulations on your engagement thank you yeah, that's right okay. when did you get don't don't <laughs> don't <laughs> it's not don't say fruit all right <laughs> I think a simple congratulations <laughs> is enough, don't you think it's appropriate? Mm, oh, you want a round of applause, all right? A round of applause. It's hard for a weird Canadian girl who used to modern no. dance and has a fluttering what eye to find love. Where part are you from? Vancouver. Ah. Uh, what does that mean? No, that's more, actually... More Purell, a second round. No, 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 I like Vancouver. Did you go back for the Olympics? I was actually back there for a little bit of them. I was uh, uh, very pregnant and couldn't be there the whole time. I, I, I didn't ask if Olympics. you were competing in the Olympics. <laughs> I, well, I didn't, I didn't know if you, I mean, I used to be a race walker. I made it to the state finals. It's actually an Olympic not. sport, yes. Really? 
A, a race walker. What, what is well, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't much of an athlete, and I just wanted to get to go to the tournaments where my friends would go for track and field, and so I had to go into the most underattended sport, which was race walking. Race walking. Well, yeah. So people just walk quickly? <laughs> Yeah, but it's hard. You have to, there's a rule, like you have to have one foot on the ground at all times. Oh, so I don't know how anyone can imagine <laughs> that. It's clear to see why Cirque du Soleil came out of Canada now. <laughs> That's an amazing feat of balance. One. It's... <laughs> it's... Actually, imagine how hard yeah, your yeah, brain no, has actually, to work at the same time. Speed. Yeah, no. It's you... really embarrassing. They just throw all the girls and all the guys at the same time on the track, just get it over with. It's like the most embarrassing sport, but I got to go in the bus with my friends when they were going for the track and field meet and they were doing like the cool relay races and I was race walking. <laughs> Make me feel kind of sad for you, you know? <laughs> that was my goal. Yeah, no, I have to, we have to, well, we both have to take a break. Oh, okay. I think we should see other people. <laughs> but, I think but, Jeff Peterson. Yeah, yeah, all right. Good luck there. Um, <laughs> We'll take a break. Uh, will you hang around and we'll be back in a minute? I would love All it. All right. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back with Sarah Turner. lovely Sarah Chalk who was telling me about her your son who's dancing yeah he just started dancing today I actually got to he's go only one <laughs> he's very advanced uh. he's very advanced and I just start and then you say a color and up he gets <laughs> yeah and he doesn't sit there and go why are you saying puce he just goes with it he's like mm. <laughs> Well, that's because he... clearly puce, no, no, if you no. think about it. That was puce that you just uh, did? Yeah, yeah obviously. Kind of pucey to me. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it might have been taupe. Well, I can see where they can... They're very similar. Are they similar? They're very similar. I don't actually know the difference between puce and taupe. Well, I think puce is like a very greeny-ish color, probably why it made you think of puke. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You should purel again. Oh, really? You should sanitize. Why? Are you addicted to this stuff? Is that, is that your thing? Are you back on it again? Uh, I am. I am. I'm telling you. One pump why? and is I was because, back to a bottle a day. Because you've got the baby? That didn't, that didn't help, although I have started to realize that, like, now a baby's like a Petri dish. I mean, I, I get my antibacterial wipes and my sanitizer and my gels, and I go to the airport, and I've got it all ready to go. And then... I look at him and he's like dragging his tongue along the railing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know what? This is still the it's baby, not it. your fiance, right? Where is the baby? Both. Both of them. <laughs> ah, getting on the plane. Ah. Isn't that what you do? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I love exciting. to lick me a banister on the way to the plane. <laughs> ah. So I go home today in between work and coming here, and there's Charlie Rhodes Afifi. And he's dancing. I mean, he was literally doing these, he does like these little squats. He goes like this, and that's his dancing, just up and down. And oh, my heart do, do broke into again, a million pieces. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that's good. Now, would you like him to go into show business? Like I just mom? air spanked. Yeah, just I know. to keep it. Yeah, no, it's know. good. Yeah. I like it, yeah. yeah. Well, you, well, you know, it's appropriate. An actual spank. <laughs> we're, we're not at that point yet. I'm probably another, next time. Maybe. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll disguise it by having the horse running yeah. up and down. Yeah. Now, the, no. Do you want your uh, your your boy to go into show business? Do you want him to be uh, in the acting game? I think he would be really good as Jeff Peterson. No, no, if... no, no, no. I need this job. You need this job. <laughs> No, listen, tell me, uh, your, your son, you, you should get him into uh, uh, commercials and stuff. I'm going to do that with my boy. He's three weeks old. I'm getting him out the door working. It's always a yeah, really good yeah, idea. Yeah, why yeah, not? They all look really the same babies idea. anyway, just little bald guys. <laughs> uh, go ahead. They don't all look the same. Oh, they do. I love my son, but I go, oh. yeah, it's you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when they get to a year, yeah, you can tell. Actually, yeah, women then... can tell. But his mother can tell. I, I go in and go... Hey, hey, buddy. So he'll be working full-time by Yeah, Yes, I'd like months. to get him out there working. You know, it's always a good thing. It seems to work very well for kids if they're famous and working as actors at a young age. A that, young. The younger, the better, Get them off to a good start. Mm -hmm. Get them in rehab by 10. Exactly. You know. Get that out of the way. So by 12, they're like, yeah, I've had a lot Got of experience. Got all behind them. Experience. They can move on with their career. That's right. They can start developing characters with a fluttering eye. And yeah. Oh, listen, you better tell me about the CBS show with Jason. Is it good? Um, we're having the best time. It's called Mad Love. Yeah, and, I know you're uh, having a good time, but is it any good is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I thought you lied to me during the break and said you'd watched it. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, I, I, I did say that. Uh, 
I also, I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> um, we... Clinton, uh, though. <laughs> if you We're do that, you can say it and you, you want. You can say anything you want. Yeah, yeah. Um, one, one of my favorite parts is the cast is half Canadian. Oh, really? And yes, and so any time, like yesterday I had to say Dr. Zeus, and um, normally when this happens to me on a job and I say Dr. Zeus, and everyone's like, um, it's Dr. Seuss. And I'm like, mm, I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Zeus. And now I have Tyler Labine, my fellow Canadian, to back me up. Yeah, but it's, you're not making a show for Canadians, you're making it for Americans. <laughs> and all the Americans watching it are going to go, does she say Dr. <laughs> Zeus? Did she say that with a Z? That's the worst American accent I've ever done. <laughs> In a lifetime of doing bad accents, that's probably it. I used to have to go to dialect coaching classes. Really? Yeah. Because of your Canadian accent? Oh, yeah. I, I can't tell the, the difference. Time. I can't hear it. It's like when you hear a Scottish person and an Irish person, you're probably like, I don't really know. I'm the same I'm with... Can, I can only hear Canadian. I can't hear the difference between a Scottish person and an American person. But if I hear Canadian, then it's... Yeah. Danger time. Yeah. yeah. House, house about mom. House about, about. That's because most Canadians uh, learned it from Scottish people saying about and haggis and stuff. That's right. That's why we get along. I think that there's a very strong connection between the Scots and the Canadians. Yeah, well, we, yeah, yeah, I, I, yep, you bet. It's all, it's all, I mean, where else do you find two people that were dancing around in blue spandex? Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm just thinking about that, actually. I thought about you life. dancing around in spandex before tonight, though, I gotta be honest. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're done here. That's uh, another classy appearance. Thanks, Cher. Uh, do you want to, um... You should, you should do this, too. I just, I forgot to tell you one Wait, thing. Go easy, I had woman. Two, Come um, on, now. You'll, two you'll parties damage <laughs> your CZ there. <laughs> I know, that's the problem with being a hypochondriac. I just read that it actually goes into your, urnal, uh, ruins your internal organs, so you have to go easy. But you should pure all, because I forgot to tell you, I had two parties at my house on Saturday, and uh, everyone just called me, and they're all puking. Really? Yes, it's a true story. You could maybe, you could maybe <laughs> have told me that at the start of the appearance, <laughs> I guess. But then I was Where I was, like, sniffing you your hair and rubbing me. up against you and going, oh, mm. spank me. Your ears spanked me. It only lasts, like, 24 hours. It's fine. Yeah, but I've got a baby in the house. I can, I can, I can, baby, baby. This will do it. I believe you in this You took me into Leno right there. Look what you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? Uh, no, nope, that's mine. Well... Oh, oh, you don't have to. It's brand new. Because you've gone completely Howie Mandel, who's also Canadian and a germaphobe. Oh, believe me. I, Howie Mandel and I had to share a mic pack one time during an award show. If he only knew where that mic pack was attached on me before All right. he had to use it. Oh, oh he, he, he knew, but he saying. makes exceptions every what? now and again. Maybe. Uh, is this a joke oh, pack? <laughs> Take the organ out of the box and put it in your mouth, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a Discord you have. Can you play? A uh, little bit. <laughs> that's like when you ask people if they speak French and they go, un petit peu, and then that's it? Uh, yeah. I've tous mes cours en français depuis la maternelle, Craig. N'est-ce pas? Oh, yeah. Ah. Sorry, I mean, oui. <laughs> Yeah, you're all right. Yeah. <laughs> I you're the, I you're lucky you're amongst friends. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I wanted to play musical instrument my whole life. I am completely tone deaf. I can't play one thing. Well, you sir, and I can I. <laughs> Save talk, everybody. We'll be right back. guest is one of my favorite comedians. He's a very, very funny man. He's uh, on uh, March the 5th at the Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome back to the show the lovely Louis Anderson, everybody. Louis Anderson. Thank you. So I just got back from Minnesota. I had to get out of there before someone asked me to shovel. <laughs> Don't shovel. You can have a heart attack. That's what I always tell people. I had a heart episode. That means, when they call it a heart episode, it means you have really good insurance. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and I went, oh, I didn't eat at the big taco. <laughs> 
So I went to the hospital. I didn't know this. When you get to the emergency room, if you say, fat guy, chest pains, <laughs> you're in. <laughs> you're right to the head of the line. <laughs> what about the guy with no head? <laughs> we got a bucket of ice coming out for him. <laughs> and the nurse takes me in a room and she goes, here, put this on. <laughs> And what? <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I, when I get left alone in the hospital room, I look for stuff to steal. <laughs> What's in here? Gauze? You can never have enough gauze. <laughs> and these are the good gauze. <laughs> and the doctor came in, you're worried, you know? And he came in, he goes, you didn't have a heart attack. I go, that's good. Can you pass me those tacos? <laughs> He goes, but we think you've got some blockage. Oh, you know about that? <laughs> he goes, I knew you'd get it. He goes, we'd like to do an angioplasty on you. <coughs> oh, no, my breasts are big enough. <laughs> I just named him. I go, what's an angioplasty? He goes, well, we take a wire, we go in through your groin. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> and you agree to do it, because they dope you up. You ready to go? I'm ready to go! And you get to the angioplasty room, you lay on the table, it's an amazing time we live in. I look up, there's my heart on a monitor. I knew it was my heart too, because that thing was wrapped in bacon. <laughs> and I had two blocked arteries, and the doctor comes in, he goes, do you see your arteries? Yeah. He goes, do you know which ones are blocked? You don't know? <laughs> Listen, if you're not sure. So he headed towards my groin. He was feeding the wire in. That or there was a puppet show going on. You shut up. No, you shut up. And the wire goes up, and you get excited when it shows up on the... You're in! But my arteries would not let that wire go in. He tried it 30 or 40 times. I finally said to him, Doc, what's up? He goes, Mr. Anderson, I'm going to get a colleague. I don't care if you get a shepherd. I hear labs are good dogs. So, so the guy that's the head of angioplasty comes in. You never want to hear this. Oh, damn it. <laughs> what is it, Doc? He goes, you're still bleeding. <laughs> I'm still bleeding? <laughs> Listen, if you need them, I've got gauze in my pocket. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. My dear. Thank you. Well, it's lovely to see you, Mike. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm horrified to hear about your heart episode. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, they fixed me all up. The yeah. doctor just checked my heart. He said it looks fantastic. Well, that's good. I'm, yeah. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, thank you. Are, thank you, you. are you going around? Where are you at? The Wild Horse Casino? Yes. You? Tomorrow night I'm at uh, Wise Guys in Ogden, Utah. Right. I'm going to see the Mormons, and then I'm going to see the horses. <laughs> do you do a lot of horse riding yourself? Well, you know, I always wanted to be a jockey. Yeah. Too tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I, no, when I head towards the horses, they duck. <laughs> They're trying to avoid eye contact with the... Oh, no, no. Well, keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Have you been? Have you been touring around? There? I have. I'm working on a brand new hour of material. That's some of nice. it. And, you know, I just uh, I love doing stand up. I was yeah. in uh, Florida. I like Florida. You gotta be yeah. careful down there, though. Yes, they're yeah. gators. 
They're waters? Gators. Gators, yes. They and I'm not the, talking about the team. No, no they, you actually, you, but they're not that dangerous, Gators. You, Listen, I State to the populated let, areas, you'll be let, all right. Let me tell you, we were p there. I was pumping gas because I lost the bet. And <laughs> I looked over in a canal. You and were there pumping was a gas game. near a canal? Well, you know, there are canals everywhere. There. All right, okay. All right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not making it up. Okay. <laughs> but... Now I'll look into that. No, right, yeah, no, because it's, it's dangerous to pump gas well, near a canal. I said, isn't that a gator? And my friend goes, yeah, they can run 35 miles an hour. <laughs> so I said, you top it off. <laughs> I'm going to get back in the car. Because I cannot run 35 miles an hour. No, nobody can run 35. Are you sure they can run 35 can miles run an hour? Because they would... 35 miles an hour. In a he says, though, to me, yeah. you don't have to worry. Because they can only run in a straight line. Oh, there you are, then. You... Yeah, he yeah, said you yeah. got to zig, and then you're going to zag. No, don't do that, because if you zig, and it's going forward, when you zag, it'll be waiting yeah. for you. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> That's a worry. I, I, so you've been down in Florida doing that. Do you know why you should go in Florida? I, I want to go to the... Uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh my God, Did we you went go? there. Yes, we. Did have, you really? I have friends. They have a kid, and that's what you do when people have kids. You go to where they're gonna go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I'm trying to talk my kids into going. One's Your nine, one's kids eight. will love that. You know, I I was a little cynical about it, but it's first of all, wherever there's a castle, you could get a turkey leg. That's true. That's true. You don't even need a castle like Medieval yeah. Times. Yes. If you go to Medieval Times. You get a turkey leg. Yes! It's you... the only time when anyone says, do you want to get a turkey leg? Yeah! And you're I standing love... around, you're eating the turkey leg, and... Do you ever go to Medieval Times? I love I Medieval did, Times. I did, I did. You go there, and then the, uh, the wench comes over yes. and goes, would my lord like Pepsi? <laughs> Or Coke, depending on who's advertising tonight. But then, uh, <laughs> would my lord like a soda advertised on CBS? <laughs> but it's nice and they it's get... It's fun, yeah, yeah. I like it. And, you and don't they get... joust and... Really? They joust at Harry Potter? Yeah. No, no, no. At Medieval Times. Oh, Medieval Times, no. yeah. No, I was going to say. Uh, because no, uh, Harry Potter is really a magnificent thing. They must have spent a billion dollars. Do you read the, the books pictures, or the movies? No, or? but everybody's... Stayed on the movie for 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I've, when you're, I've, re you know, I've read when the books. Books yeah. are fantastic. Yeah, it's really amazing. I mean, it was really beautiful. And you had butter beer. They had butter beer. Butter beer, you say? Yes. What's that? It's no beer in it. It's kind of like butterscotch. Yeah. With a foam on the top. Sounds like a root beer to me. No, oh, it's thicker than. It's like drinking butter. You can only take two drinks, and then you. <laughs> you said Sounds it. like a challenge <laughs> there, big fella. <laughs> And you're trying to pawn it off on people. Do you want some butter beer? Yeah, yeah. Have my butter no, beer. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. butter beered out. Uh, well, it's, listen, it's, it's lovely to see you. Thank and, you and so I'm, much. And I'm very happy that you're back on the show and that your heart's in good shape. Yes, it is. Maybe Thank you. want to lay off the butter beer a little All bit. All right, I will. Yeah. <laughs> the lovely Louis Anderson, everybody. We were at. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> CBS News. Good night, everybody. Good night.